I said a black coffee, you dozy cow. All right. Someone got out of bed the wrong side this morning. I haven't even been to bed. Oh, been up all night. Who's the lucky lady, eh? Oh, don't tell me. She blew you out. And there was me thinking you were supposed to be a lady killer. Just get the coffee, will you? All right. Uh, excuse me, you're two pounds short. So put it on my tab. Do I look like I was born yesterday? Yeah, you do. Oh, dear, it looks like someone's fallen on hard times. Here. Let me. Just to show there's no hard feelings, eh? And uh, two coffees for us as well, please, Bernice. You know, you might want to take a day off from being a smug git. Oh, yeah? Why would I when it feels so good? Well, I'll tell you, who doesn't feel so good? Harriet. Since those dealers you screwed over stuck a knife in her. What dealer? Me and Finn, we didn't... We didn't grow that weed ourselves, did we? The guys who we ripped off came looking for me. Found Finn first. Finn? Is he all right? Wait, what's this got to do with Harriet? She was driving me mum's car. They jumped her, thought she must be mixed up in it. Got be cow mouthed off and they stabbed her. But she's, you know, she's gonna be all right. Last Finn saw they were putting in an ambulance. She was bleeding out. This is on you, mate. Wait, maybe you shouldn't go playing with the big boys if you can't handle it. Uh, you want someone to blame, just have a look in the mirror. If anything comes to mind, you know where we are. Like a scene out of Midsummer Murders. Have you not heard what's happened? There's been an attempted carjacking just outside the village. A carjacking? Oh, was anyone hurt? Harriet. Finn found her, apparently. Well, what do you mean, found her? Well, there was a knife. She's in a hospital now. She's had to have emergency surgery, according to the police. But I need to get to the hospital. Yeah, yeah, I'll drive it. Come on. Maybe we should get on, yeah. I told you, just that normal. It's all down to Ross. Going up Midnight Express. I did my favour getting rid of that gear. He'd only got himself banged up. And what if these dealers turn back up again? Let's just call them the coppers. Even in their tiny little drug mash brains, they're not that clueless. But only Finn and Ross know that we were involved, and they can't say anything without incriminating themselves, so all we have to do is keep quiet. And trust me, Harry will be fine. And so will we. Harriet, I don't know if you can hear me, but I just need you to know. I'm sorry. If I would have known where all of this was going, I never would have got involved. I don't know what we were thinking. Ross swore to me that he knew what he was doing. It was so out of our league. All me and Ross wanted to do was just put a roof over our mum's head. Should have known that them dealers were going to come back. And now you're here. Then it's all our fault. Ben. Come out here a minute, will you? I don't know what you mean. This is all your fault, you and Ross. That's what you just said. Oh, well, you must have heard me wrong. What have you done? Nothing, I swear. Finn, you're a good lad, normally, aren't you? Hey, so, all this that has happened, it's got to be down to your idiot brother. Am I right? You're hurting me. I'll do more than that if you don't start talking. Sorry, you can't come in here. She's tachycardic, BP's dropping, and can you sort that out, please? Ross, where are you? Everything's got worse. Harriet's crashing. I don't know if she's going to make it. It came onto us, right? I don't know why, but it's really worked up. So just watch it back again. 